Hi guys, hope you are all good. I am back with a new video of GrapeSJS. So a lot of users were asking about how they can use Chart.js in GrapeSJS. Today video, I am going to explain to how we can use Chart.js in GrapeSJS. So Chart.js is a very flexible library to create different kind of chart. So I am going to use my previous project. So if you are new to my channel, then please check out old videos. So here in this project, we have a uh, GrapeSJS block plugin and a custom plugin of Swiper. So here I'm going to create one more plugin for Chart.js. Okay. So without any delay, let's start. Let me open our project in VS Code, which is a very lightweight library. This project is a React.js application and uh, we have a plugin folder here where we have two plugins swiper and tailwind similarly i am going to create one more plugin uh, in this plugins folders okay let's just create index.js file inside a chart folder so if you are following my previous video then you will remember we were creating uh, we have created swiper and tailwind plugin by creating three files or four files for block separate file for blocks separate file for components and separate for files for traits but in our today's session i am going to use a very different way to create our plugins okay i am going to write some line of code uh, which will be common for all other plugins which we will create in our future so this is a code which you can uh, like uh, copy it and save it uh, some other place and whenever we are going to create uh, any other plugin then we will just copy that code uh, okay so it will save our time so let's start first of all we are going to import grapeSJS from grapeSJS library also importing a load component from a component file which is not yet just created so let import it and also create a components file in our chart.js uh, in our charts folder in our index.js file i am going to write a code to add a plugin using grapeSJS.plugins so let export default grapeSJS.plugins.add and the name of the plugins which we want to add so for right now i am going to use charts as a name of a plugin this will receive some parameters the first parameter will be a editor and the second parameter will be a options so these are the options which a user can pass uh, whenever he uh, is using this plugin in grapeSJS configuration okay so here i am going to create uh, uh, variables for like default blocks default types and default labels okay and i'm going to combine all these variables with our options creating blocks and which will have a default blocks and i'm going to similarly i'm going to create labels which will have a default labels and i'm going to create a types which is a default types let fix this typo here and it will be a type not tiles and i'm also going to combine the opts which i received from uh, when we add this plugin in our configuration okay i'm going to pass this options and the editor reference to our load component method which i have imported from components so this is a, a some line of code which we can copy and uh, keep it a safe place now let's add functionality in our components file exporting a default method which receives editor reference and options object i am going to create a dc variable which will store uh, ed our editor dom components similarly create another variable bm for editor block manager extract blocks types and labels from our options which we received here we also need a label for our category in which category we want to 
show this plugin. So first, let add that uh, label in our index.js file. Okay, and let's also extract that in our component.js file. Now let's create a file for our first chart. I have created a file uh, name as line chart.js inside a components folder. So in this folder we will add all our charts. We will create block and component for our line chart. So let's export a constant line chart block which will be our block. This block will be shown in our uh, grip.js plugin. Okay. This will receive four parameters BM which is a block manager category uh, where we want to show this uh, plugin label of this uh, plugin and type of this plugin now uh, i'm going to use a block manager reference to add a, uh, our type in uh, block manager and we also provides its configuration the first configuration is label second configuration will be a, a category and the third configuration will be a content right now i am uh, leaving it a blank now it's time for our component so let's export a default method which will receive uh, four parameters first will be a dc that is a, a dom component label type and finally config we are going to create some variable first will be a default type that will be dc dot get type and default second will be default view and we will get our default view from our default type finally we are going to use a method dc dot add type to add our component this method will receive two parameters first will be a type which we want to add and the second will be some configuration first configuration is model so this is an object which includes default object where we, we can define our trade another is init function this default object will have trades script function set second configuration is a function named as is component which receives a parameter element and return an object which identify our type of component we will use specific element attribute value to compare it with our type and if match then we will return an object with our type and the finally the third configuration will be a view which will be our default view and we will extend uh, to extend it to override some values first method value which can be overridden is a init method let's say double equals to triple equal for type safety check let's close all the files and also add some uh, line chart related blocks types and label in our index.js file if default blocks have a true value then we will enable that plugin else not that's why we have a key line chart with a true value i'm going to copy the this key and use it in uh, types and label as well just to ensure a common pattern now in our component.js file let import line chart block and line chart from line chart.js file which is in components folder as previously explained i am going to add a condition to check true values of plugin specific key which will be inside blocks object if it is true then we will call our line chart block and line chart with all required parameters to it like block manager label category for block and doc component 
label category and configuration for component now it's done now it's time to check our chart library to work with chart js we need a canvas as the first primary required html element so let's just copy this and paste it to block content which we left let's change the id of a canvas it should be in a string it's time for our component code right now we don't need traits so let's remove it all our charges related script will go in this script function we have to add charges library in our grips js so let's just copy the cdn path of charges library and paste it in scripts array which will be in api util slash gedtl slash util dot js file all these scripts will be automatically added to head of our html it's a good practice to check if our script is added or not before calling any of its method so let's add a condition for the same if a script is not added then we will add in our html by programmatically if a script is already in html then we will use charges method for the same i am going to create a method named as initlib and will call it later when our library is already exist in our html don't need this init method so let also remove this one let's just copy some code from charges example to integrate charges in our grepages it will save our time now rename my chart to line chart as we have line chart as a id in our canvas and finally call a chart method from charges library pass config we just created above now our component and block is ready to use we have to add this chart plugin in our grepages so let's import this in our gedtl underscore config dot js file which will be inside api underscore utils folder and then add this to plugin array as well as plugin options object we also need to install chart js library because our react application will show error to not identifying chart method which we just used inside script function of our grepages component so let's import chart from chart js library and fix the issue all done let's check it as you can see we have a new category of chart in this category we have a line chart so let's just drag and drop it to you in a greater just canvas it's not working let's debug it as you can see we have our canvas as we have added it in our blog but it seems our component is not working okay uh, we compare data ggs type attribute but our canvas means our block does not have this attribute so let fix that after setting this attribute it should work but instead of uh, fixed value we can make it uh, more dynamic now let's check it again it is working as expected in next video we will make it more dynamic by using traits like trait for canvas width and height and etc if you learn something from this video then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe it will help me so see you in next video